Hello there, uh, I'm John Cassani, Clusa Waterkeeper, uh, bringing you some more thoughts and observations uh, about our water here in the region. Let's go ahead and start with Lake Okeechobee. Uh, I think everyone's probably aware at this point that there's been a significant cyanobacteria bloom on the lake. Uh, it's going back as far as April. Uh, we're seeing this sort of recurring thing every year now, starting March, April, May. Uh, we get this expanding cyanobacteria bloom on Lake Okeechobee, so it's ongoing. Uh, we're seeing it reach levels of 250, 300 square miles, so it is significant bloom. If, you, if you're going to be on Lake Cho Okeechobee or near the lake, you may want to think about that a little bit more. Uh, there have been uh, toxins associated with the bloom, so you want to be careful out there if you're going to the lake. Uh, Moving downstream a little bit, uh, looking at the Clusatchee River and its estuary, we're, we're not seeing really the big kind of blooms we saw in 2018, but we are seeing isolated pockets of cyanobacteria, uh, microcystis and cylindrospermopsis, two of the common species. Uh, I think Lee County was reporting observations at uh, Alva Boat Ramp, uh, Franklin Lock, Davis Boat Ramp. So both the freshwater reach and the estuary have these small isolated cyanobacteria blooms. Uh, sometimes they're toxic, sometimes they're not. Uh, moving on to the, the fecal bacteria issue, uh, it is the rainy season here. Uh, it's often we see higher fecal bacteria levels when we have uh, additional stormwater runoff, um, and we are seeing some hot spots. So if you're interested in uh, the fecal bacteria contamination or the risk that you might be exposed to, uh, check our, our website, our Facebook page. Once a month we post um, some sampling at about 20 sites here in Lee County. Often these are the areas that Florida Department of Health does not sample or post advisories for. Uh, this would be areas like uh, Sterile River, Imperial River, Billy's Creek and Fort Myers, uh, Manuals Branch, Fort Myers. Uh, so the inland waters are the ones that have the really high levels of fecal bacteria. Rarely do we see high levels on the coastal beaches, but inland is where we see the biggest problem. Most of these waters are designated for recreation, so uh, be careful uh, if you're going to swim or be in the, those waters. Wading or swimming could be uh, risky for your health, depending on the level. Looking out to the Gulf a little bit more, we're seeing some interesting nearshore activity. It could be diatom blooms or possibly even what we call sea sawdust, uh, also known as trichodesmium. It's a type of cyanobacteria, and we're seeing some pretty, pretty expansive uh, blooms uh, near shore from about Cape Romano on up towards Sanibel. So you can check out some of the imagery on our Facebook page. We're concerned about that because typically, um, or under some circumstances, we'll see a red tide bloom follow the trichodesmium bloom. Uh, when the trick, trick bloom dies off, we see nitrogen levels increase. That's what stimulates the uh, red tide event. So keeping our eye on that situation and hoping that uh, we won't see a red tide follow what we think are trichodesmia blooms at this time. Um, you may be aware, if you're a member of our organization, that we're really pushing our, uh, um, our monitoring campaign, water quality monitoring. We do quite a bit of that. And we're looking at things like uh, cyanotoxins and things like forever chemicals, things that aren't typically regulated contaminants, but are really important for uh, risk uh, related to public health. So. We, those tests are extremely expensive and we want to make those uh, results public, but we need your help in terms of getting that program funded. So if you, can, if you can spare a few dollars and help us with our monitoring program, we really appreciate it. So far we've had an excellent response to it. We thank those who have contributed so far, but uh, we've got a ways to go to do the, the kind of expansive monitoring that we're interested in doing. Uh, as always, we're interested in your observations when you're out on the water. You can send those pictures or videos or just a narrative about what you're seeing uh, to info, I-N-F-O, at calusawaterkeeper.org. Uh, recently, somebody sent us a video of a manta ray that went nearly viral on our Facebook page. 
uh, it reached nearly half a million people. So those are the kind of images that we like to see and document, uh, and our readers and our viewers and our followers also like to see that kind of imagery. Uh, so if you're out there and you see something unusual, um, algae bloom, fish kill, a rare or unique animals out in the water, please share that imagery or that information with us. So that's pretty much it for this time. Uh, we'll see you out there uh, hopefully soon. Thanks.